What is up, everybody? Today we're with one and only Roberto Arcos. Roberto, you're, you're such a good friend. We we known each other for the last seven years. Seven years, at yes, least. Yeah. yeah, seven years. We work together, and, and it's been it's been awesome seeing all your path from the inst group fitness instructor standpoint, and now you're managing a team on your own. Could you tell us more about what are some of the biggest learnings that you had? doing this role right now because now you get to manage a team of instructors yeah, yeah actually it was a very interesting experience good because i started in the um hospitality business meaning hotels and restaurants and all that so one day i just decided to become an instructor you know like i wanted to do some weight and all that and i really i really like i really enjoy it and then i i said to myself hey how would you look like teaching this, you know, teaching a group class? And so I jumped in, I became an instructor, I started teaching one format, then I ended up teaching five formats. <laughs> Eventually I became a personal trainer, um, and then I became a fitness manager, and then I became an assistant general manager, general manager, now I run a club. So some of the things that really helped me to do this uh, um you know kind of like a, the perfect communion between being an instructor and being a manager is uh coaching coaching uh to my staff um i mean we're talking about every single department like uh personal training or instructors or uh, um your um staff at the front desk etc etc but i think the best part for me was feeling confident about talking to people Right. You know, when you are an instructor and you are up there and you're controlling a class, it makes you feel a little more confident and trusting what you are saying, if what you are saying has a purpose. So, you know, if you're running a club, so that means that you also need to generate sales, new clients, uh, prospects, etc., etc. So it gave me that confidence for me to go outside of my club and start talking to people, promote the business. Um, a partner with other businesses bring them over invite them over and um i think from that point of view like as a business being an instructor really helped me a lot so it gave me this view from both sides of the business in order for me to create uh, my, my own style of how i can execute uh i can execute my, my performance in a club yeah and, and that is so interesting that you mentioned uh as a club, as an organization, as a gym, it's a business. And, it is. and to keep the doors open, to have incredible experiences for the members or the participants, we need to generate sales. Yeah, right? absolutely. And so I think that that's something incredibly important for us to know. If this is a path that, that we would like to pursue and eventually run a gym or manage a gym, understanding the, the sales aspect too and the yeah. revenue that ne needs to needs to come in every month to pay the employees to pay uh, our staff that that's incredibly important it is because it's not just uh, um, you know keeping the members that you already have it's also um, creating tools that are gonna let them uh, uh, let the business create more referrals you know when a business is successful word of mouth is actually more important than you know putting a lot of money into um, ads or social media posts right. or something like that uh, word of mouth referrals are actually the biggest part of our business um, when you keep a member happy that member who is happy is going to refer you five of his friends hey my friends would love to join and that's how you keep the business remember we have members that eventually leave the club so we had to refill that funnel by creating those leads we had to generate those leads by creating activities like quarterlies like creating activities like bringing vendors and have a good relationship with businesses around yeah and when you, when you think about the members experience you mentioned something very important too is the loyal members once once they're in they're in and they yeah. love the place love the brand if they love the brand that's basically free advertisement yeah all we got to do is just have them be vocal about their experience to the communities to the friends your yeah. families right? yes and that, that's something that sometimes we we don't really see we we focus on what else can we do but it's sitting right there at the clubs to create the yes. members like is the, is the power of connection is the power of connection mm -hmm. like i'll be able to connect with those people so they feel comfortable when something is not working right because not right. everything is going to be a hundred percent accurate <laughs> not everything is going to work perfectly at club yes there are going to be a couple of glitches here and there but if they never tell us so what's going to create is going to create a member just being unhappy 
and eventually it's gonna leave the club. The same happens when um, a member has, when a brand new member has absolutely no idea about what to do and how to do it. So if we do not connect with that person, that person is gonna leave in less than four months. It's gonna stop coming and eventually it's gonna cancel a membership. Mm -hmm. So when we create those connection tools, like uh, um, what we do in, in this case in, in the business I'm running at, you know, we invite the members for what we call open house. We invite the members when we're having lunches. We invite members who really need help from a professional, uh, from a fitness professional, like a personal trainer. So we invite them for a free complimentary personal training session. So they can come to us. We open the door for them and that's when they eventually are gonna come in. When we sign people up, we offer them a couple of complimentary personal training sessions. Not just because we want their money, but it's also because we want them to stay long term and be a happy member. Yeah. Yeah, and feel comfortable, feel a lot more used to the equipment so it mm -hmm. feels intimidated by it. We're yeah. talking we're talking earlier with other other friends about removing barriers and that's yes. important to gym intimidation. Yeah. Gym intimidation. Yeah. Last thing, you have been through basically every department in the club. You've seen <laughs> the much. in and out yeah. of things. How how important is to basically interconnect all the departments to, yes. to create synchronicity within yes. the club. Yes. How important if it's somebody that, that it's is thinking about heading this route, how important is or could be to understand every part of the gym business or the club business? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, something that is a great practice when uh, somebody becomes a manager, it's jumping in every single department. So it's about, okay, if I am the sales manager, it doesn't mean that I'm just going to be fully dedicated to sales. If I am the fitness manager, I, it doesn't mean I'm just going to focus just on personal training. That's the main part of your job, yes, but you know, participating in a class jump out in the counter at the, at the front desk. Hey, help the housekeeping crew, so get to know where everything is. So when somebody comes to you asking you for something, you don't feel like you are lost. So you have a little bit of an idea about, about what to do and what to say. And even if you don't have that idea, later on you can go back to them because you are gonna approach, and that's the power also of communication. You will go to your immediate boss or another coworker who is more seasoned and ask them, hey, I have this problem, how do I fix it? fix it and then reach back, follow up with uh, your member. Because, you know, again, power of connection, power of communication, it's key in order to create a successful business and a long time member. Thank you so much for your time, Roberto. Where, where can people find you if they want to come to your club, you want to take a class with you? Yes, we. I am located at One Life Fitness in Tenley Town. This is in Washington, D.C. And um, we have many locations here in the DMV area. We are over 40 clubs and we are on pre-sale for the new upcoming Upton Place in Tenley Town. So go to www.onelifefitness.com. We'll put it right here. Code. We'll put it right here, like yes. magic. 20016 and join us. We're on pre-sale and you can secure the founding member rate. And where can people find you in the socials? In the socials like lolo.arcos, A-R-C-O-S. You can find me like that um, on Instagram, on TikTok. I love TikTok. <laughs> and that's Roberto Arcos in um, uh, Facebook. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Roberto. All right, brother. Until next time. See ya.